It's like every game publisher's dream. Have a really dedicated player base for years and years. Be everyone's go-to game to unwind with some friends after a long day or be a multi-million dollar competitive spectator sport. Or a completely useless pile of plastic because that's how fine the line is these days. Not only are publishers trying to shoehorn in multiplayer on games that don't need it, but almost every publisher now has games that are supposed to be your daily drivers. Everybody who plays multiplayer games has that one game that they sink all of their time into, and all these game companies are vying for that spot. But there can only really be one, and that spot is typically reserved for the juggernauts. Because the competition is so tough and it requires a lot of engagement from the audience, it's really easy to f*** this up. In the last few weeks alone, we've had Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, Titanfall 2, and Battlefield 1 all come out. As far as multiplayer-only games go, Battlefield and Call of Duty are juggernauts, with Battlefield 1 being the biggest launch in DICE's history. Call of Duty is always a major release every year, but this year we know that sales in the UK are down almost 50%. That's really sad. And sandwiched between all these juggernauts is Titanfall 2, which ironically has the best Metacritic rating, but is selling the worst. It sold half as much as Titanfall 1, and Titanfall 1 was a Microsoft exclusive. Titanfall 2 is on Xbox and PS4 and PC. And that's just a damn shame. But this doesn't have to be the end for Titanfall. I mean, it doesn't look that good for Call of Duty, but you know what? Activision deserves a little bit of negative reinforcement every once in a while. Come up with a new idea already. EA and Respawn came up with the genius idea to release all of Titanfall 2's DLC for free. This will hopefully keep fans coming back for more as time goes on, keeping the player base alive. Rainbow Six Siege is another example of a game that had a pretty lackluster player base at first. It's a multiplayer-only shooter, and as a diehard Rainbow Six fan, I thought this game was f***ing trashed when it first came out. One of the most disappointing games of last year for me. But somehow by releasing all of Rainbow Six's DLC for free, its player base hit some major spikes. It might have also helped that Ubisoft released a $15 starter version for PC, but that was only available between June 2nd and June 19th, which would have fallen between this space right here. It doesn't really look like it had that much of an effect on sales at that time. As someone who wrote this game off, I kind of want to jump back in and see what all the hubbub is about. But that will require me diving back into my backlog. And, you know, I don't want to touch that. It's dark and scary in there. Actually, I'm just kidding. It's right. Yep, that's right. It's right here. I got it. Never mind. Now, let's look at another multiplayer-only game, this time made by EA with a stupidly expensive season pass. Star Wars Battlefront. If you bought the game at launch with the season pass, it would have cost you $110. Yeesh. This article from February shows that about 9,600 users were logged in on PC at peak hours. Cut that between the different game modes, and that's really not a lot. That's why it was really hard to find games back then. But things were looking a little bit better on consoles. And what about now? Just... 1,000 active users on PC. God damn. I think Star Wars Battlefront is a good lesson in how to not hold the interests of a multiplayer community. Another failed multiplayer-only game, Evolve. And we're not going to talk about Evolve. What about other massive games with massive, dedicated multiplayer communities? We got Overwatch. We got Rocket League. We got Grand Theft Auto V. What do they all have in common? Free DLC. Now, they also have paid content in the form of money, loot boxes, skins, so they can keep the lights on and the servers up. But the developers also release game modes that are free for all users, so they can make money off of the users who are willing to spend it, and they can keep the interest of users who aren't. This is more beneficial in the long run than charging 110 frickin' dollars for a full-featured game. What in God's name were they thinking? As for Titanfall 2... It's not looking good. In my opinion, it should have come out after Call of Duty so that when people eventually lost interest in Infinite Warfare, they would potentially give Titanfall 2 a try. 
but instead is just a gem that's been washed out by two massive, massive releases. Hopefully the free DLC is enticing enough and somewhere down the line it can pull a Rainbow Six Siege and come around full circle. We'll just have to see. So what do you guys think about multiplayer only games and this trend of free DLC, constantly updating the game, giving out game modes and stuff? What about this trend of publishers releasing multiplayer only games that seem pretty small but are supposed to be like these massive multi-million dollar things? Like Brink, you remember Brink? I just want to bring up Brink every chance I get. Anyway, leave it in the comments below, at me on Twitter, all of this other social media garbage. It's really important that you check this out. It's a video I did for ShoddyCast on Overwatch, the art of Overwatch, and specifically Tracer. As you guys know, I'm into artsy fartsy stuff, and Overwatch is kind of great. So I talked about it over there. It took me a long time to make this video. If you remember me last week talking about I was working on something for a long time, it was this. This is what I was working on. So go watch it. Also, don't forget about the shirt campaign, which is running all the way through November. And also, I'm very sorry that all my cameras are just dead. All the batteries died. Everything sucks. So I'm using Will's camera. So if things are weird, I'm very sorry. And, of course, the most important things that you could do is subscribe and share this video with a friend. A friend who's into Call of Duty Battlefield Titanfall. And if friends into Overwatch, share that Shoddy Cats video with them. Thank you guys very much. Have a good week.